guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are all doing well. So in today's video, I am going to do a first impressions of all of the eyeshadows from Makeup Obsession that I just got recently. So actually, this palette fits 12 eyeshadows, but I only got 11 because I thought I got 12. I thought I ordered 12, but apparently I didn't and I don't know if I did, I'm sure it is somewhere here and I cannot seem to find it. But anyway, I'm sure it was some light shade just like this because everything else is just the way I remember ordering it. Uh, but anyway, um, it's good actually. You can actually see how the palette looks like without any eyeshadow. So basically, uh, you can buy these eyeshadow single and they come in boxes like this. So you can buy them single or you can, you know, mix and match and create your own palette. And the best thing is you can even see the names and the number of the eyeshadow in the back of the palette because it is um, hollow. So there are not only eyeshadows but also cream contour and contour shades and even a blush shade. So I think I'm going to do a smoky eye today looking at all of the colors I picked up. I've got a really nice dense black. I've got a metallic silvery black. I've got this nice rustic orange. A nice matte uh, sort of transition shade so I think that's what I'm gonna do so I haven't really tried these eyeshadows before so this is going to be like a first impression I'm gonna take this contour shade here and I'm gonna start with that I'm gonna use that as a transition shade I'm taking a fluffy brush and applying that onto my crease and then I picked up a little bit of that warm orangey shade Ooh, it is quite pigmented. I literally just touched my brush on it. Just blending it underneath the contour shade that we applied. I like this, it blends really easily as well. Blending quite well. Now I'm gonna pick up the black eyeshadow. Ooh, that's pigmented. Taking the same brush that I applied the warm color with and I'm blending it all in. Just blending the edges of the black with a warm shadow. I'm going with the clean brush and then just cleaning the edges. I'm adding another layer of that black eyeshadow. It's really nice and pigmented and soft doesn't really have any fallouts as well not as much as you can tell these are all priced at rupees 350 and I think they're quite worth it very well priced if you find it difficult blending just tilt your head back a little bit Raise your eyebrows and then just start blending. Just makes it easier for me. The key to this look is just blending. Just lots and lots and lots of blending.
just adding a little bit more of that warm shade just to create that transition so this eye for me is much more hooded than this eye ever since I have had the surgery on this eye this the shape has just changed so if you can see when I open my eyes straight this has more of the lid area than this eye so the eye makeup usually ends up looking different on both the eye and I get really annoyed so now I'm just gonna go and clean up underneath my eyes So for my bottom lashes, I'm going to apply Kajal first. This is the Lakme Absolute Gold. And then I'm taking the same black eyeshadow on a dense pencil brush. And applying that onto the lower lash line. Then I'm taking that warm color onto a fluffy brush and blending this. So I'm using the Falsies Bishop Drama Mascara. Now I'm taking a smaller brush and taking the highlight shade. I'm going to apply this onto my inner corner. So for my base, I'm starting off by using the Hydro Blur Moisturizer from Clinique. This is going to act as a primer. Then I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I'm in the shade NC40. I'm taking the NYX Skinny Mascara and then I'm just going to use that to set my eyebrows. Now I'm going to take the contour shade in light medium. For blush, I'm using this NYX Ombre Blush in Strictly Chic. And lastly, for highlighter, I'm going to use this shade right here. This is the Strobe Balm in the shade Radiance. It's a very pinky, champagne -y sort of color. I'm going to use my fingers for this. This is really going to make that highlight pop. For lipstick, I'm using the Nykaa Matte Delicious Lip Crayon in Pink on Fleek. So this is the finished look. I really liked working with the eyeshadow. I think they were pretty pigmented and very easy to work with, very easy to blend. They didn't really have a lot of fallouts and I think they are very well priced at Rs. 350. Uh, the Strobe Balm also is one of my favourite. I really liked it. I think it reminds me a lot of the MAC Hush Cream Colour Base. It's very similar to that but 
less than half the price and it gives similar results and uh, yeah I really like all of the shades that I picked up let me just take you guys through all of the shades that I have the first one is actually a blush it's called golden girl but I got it to use it as a highlighter and then I have the eyeshadow called Ibiza so lucky charm rare born copper then this is the contour powder in light medium treasure midnight black denim and this is the strobe balm in radiance so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys liked it and if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i'll see you very soon bye